Quentin Gardening, everybody. Today I'm gonna to explore the concept of regrowing vegetables from grocery store scraps. Now the concept of regrowing scraps is all about taking parts of the vegetable that would normally be discarded or composted and using those to grow either new vegetables or in our case, parts of new vegetables for a secondary purpose. And sometimes that purpose is regrowing an entirely new set of vegetables, like with sweet potatoes where you can take a sweet potato cause it to propagate and then get an entirely new set of sweet potatoes as a result of those slips. But I'm sure many of you have probably heard about other instances of regrowing food scraps as well. For things like beets, where you can regrow the greens of beets or celery. I've seen lots of videos of people regrowing celery. But in this video, we're going to focus in on carrots. Now, before I get into the details of this video, it's important to know that this is an experiment for us. This is our first time regrowing carrots but you can see we've already got some really nice carrot greens here that are sprouting up out of the top of these cut piece of carrots these carrot tops and so as this is our first time trying growing these vegetables with this experiment we have a couple of very specific goals and we're going to experiment with a couple of different ways of transplanting these from where we currently have them set up which i'm going to explain to you into a longer term position where we can get the development we're looking for and what is that development that we want from these carrots well one of the things we're looking for you can already see and that's these carrot greens so before i talk about the process of getting them to this point and what we did is a part of this experiment let me tell you a couple of reasons why you might want to do this in the first place well for one thing this didn't take up very much space and we were able to just take a couple of carrots that we had and get started and we basically already have a carrot greens forest here after just a couple of weeks so are we going to save a whole bunch of money by doing this? Well, no, we are going to reduce waste because this isn't going to be thrown out or even composted, although that does help our garden. Instead, we're going to get additional benefits from the greens themselves. So maybe we're not going to save a whole bunch of money because, well, we're not going to get a whole bunch of new carrots, but we're going to get some really cool benefits. I mean, for one thing, getting the greens is really important to us, especially in the winter time. And carrot greens are tasty they're easy to prepare you can prepare them in a salad you can saute them you can chop them up and make a pesto out of them and they actually have more vitamin c in the greens than the carrot itself according to our research along with a bunch of other nutritional value to the greens so for one we get some greens out of this and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take off one of the greens right now and tell you what the taste is like if you've never eaten carrot greens or didn't even know that you could eat them they're actually quite delicious in fact, it's got a much stronger carrot flavor, maybe even than the carrot itself. It's kind of interesting to taste. Really nice and sweet. Again, if you like carrots, I think you'll like the taste of those carrot greens in just about any kind of salad, etc. So we get the benefit of middle of the winter, some nice carrot greens that are growing. Primarily, our overarching goal is to be able to harvest some carrot seeds because if we can harvest carrot seeds in that second year, once we transplant them outdoors, then we're going to be able to plant some additional carrots as we go. It's important to remember that carrots, like some of our other biennial vegetables, our onions, our cabbage, they produce seeds typically in the second year of growth. And so what we're creating here is the environment that could provide us with that second year's worth of growth and the carrot seeds we want. So let's talk about how we got to this point and what exactly we chose and how these things are sprouting greens in the first place. Now for our experiments, we do try to keep it as simple as possible because we'd like for you to be able to join in with us in this process. Carrots are one of the few vegetables that we've had to buy additional of over the last couple of years because we just go through them so quickly. But what we have here are the tops, maybe between, I would say a half inch to three quarters of an inch of the tops of the carrots, the organic carrots that we purchased. There was no greenery here at the top, but we were looking for carrot tops that didn't have any mushiness to it, that didn't have any mold or fungus or any kind of dirt on it. And all we did was to take and cut that top off and try to give it as flat of a surface as possible. Let me see if I can get you to see that. A nice flat surface here. And then we've had it for about four weeks now on top 
of a damp paper towel. We have not let that paper towel die out one time, and as we've used carrots, we just kept adding more and more to this paper towel. Now you may have noticed this before, but if you leave carrots in their bag in the refrigerator for too long, they'll likely start sprouting some of those greens. So there's no soil necessary, and honestly, I think you could probably do what we've done so far just using perlite, or maybe even just using water, but we use the paper towel, they don't need the roots to be popping out for them to start producing the greens. That cut surface is down on top of the paper towel and it's allowing it, it's enabling it to absorb some of that water through the system and it starts pushing out these greens. So it's still got life in there. From the eyes on the side, we start to see these fine, small roots develop. And if you've ever grown carrots before, you've probably noticed all along the exterior of the carrot, you can get these fine, kind of fibrous looking roots, just like that. These are what are going to help this take root and really start to push up these greens nicely. And so what we wanna to do today is to transplant these over into various setups. We don't wanna put all of our carrot eggs in one basket. So our first setup is gonna be in a number five polypropylene. It's a food safe plastic container. It's about four inches deep or so. And what I'm gonna do is add a nice thin layer of our mix on top and you can see I've actually already drilled some holes in this I didn't really like my drilling so you can see they've cracked a little bit but I'm not worried about that this isn't going to be all that heavy but I'm going to create a layer approximately half an inch or so of a nice damp well draining potting mix that well draining part is going to be very important and then I'm going to take a paper towel a wet paper towel I'm going to try to recreate the surface area that these carrots have been growing on for the last couple of weeks because I really want to reduce the overall shock. And then I'm going to add some of this Bontone 2 rooting powder to try our best to get these roots to really take off, to be strong. You see this nice rooting powder here. Now I want to be really gentle as I'm adding this rooting powder. So I've just got a nice little coating around it. I'm going to add it to the sides as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently place it, again, being careful of the roots, as minimal shock as possible. I've already touched them more than I'd like to. And then I'm gonna add a thin layer of this damp mix around the exterior, just like that. So our setup, and I'm gonna have multiple in here, again, not all in the same place, but our setup is going to have multiple of these with the rooting powder set up. And again, we're gonna keep this nice and damp. We're not gonna let it dry out. We're not gonna overly wet it, but we're gonna keep it damp because we don't want any of those roots or as few roots as possible to die off. All right, check this out. I've got seven of these carrot tops in here now. And you can see, again, I'm leaving most of the top exposed. So I'm just slightly going over the roots, maybe a quarter of an inch with this mix, but we still got that paper towel underneath. And overall, we're probably just over an inch and a quarter or so in depth of the mix. And again, our goal, let those roots really form up nicely. Let me show you a couple of the other setups we're gonna try out. We've got one of the tiers here on our green stock with an empty pocket. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add a paper towel, just like so, a nice damp paper towel in here. I've got my rooting powder, and I'm gonna set this right out to the edge. Now this is under a pretty nice light, I think for what we're looking at. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Got my rooting powder on both. And then we're gonna cover that with a nice little bit of moist mix. Now I do wanna stress something. If I didn't make it clear earlier, I really want this to be clear. Our expectation is not some massive regrowth of carrots. We're not trying to get a whole new carrot crop. We really, oh, one of our ladybugs right there. We really want to do our best to get some additional seeds. And we think this is a valid way to get some carrot seeds. All right, I'm gonna interrupt this video very briefly for our 27th giveaway in our 31 days of Guten Gardening, gardening gift giving. Well, folks, I am super excited that we're consistently getting over 100 entries into our giveaways. Remember, if you wanna be entered into the next giveaway, all you have to do is comment on this video or on one of our community posts between now and the next video, and you'll be entered in to win. Well, once again, today's winner gets to choose from the list of previously awarded prizes. So down in the description of this video, there's gonna be a list of all the prizes we've given away so far. You get to get down in there and pick the one that you're interested in if you're today's winner. Let's go ahead and see who day number 27's winner is. Remember, we've still got four more videos left to go, but today's winner is going to be 
Victoria Gillette. Congratulations, Victoria. Folks, go ahead and say congratulations in the comments, but don't say Victoria's name so that she can be surprised when she sees she's won. And Victoria, when you see that you've won, go ahead and leave a comment on this video and we'll be in touch with you as quickly as possible. Let's go ahead and head back to our video. If you followed this channel for any length of time, you know I love a good garden experiment. And for me, this is a really good garden experiment. I'm gonna go ahead and lay my wet paper towel over our raised bed here our indoor raised bed underneath this Mars Hydro. So pretty expensive light. I'm gonna get the same rooting powder on here. I think I'm gonna get three in this spot here on the bed. Again, I think it pays just like when we plant our potatoes, our sweet potatoes, it pays to get them in different spots. So if one fails, we have backups. All right, let's go ahead and get this last one in. And once again, our nice fine layer of this well draining mix. I can't stress that enough. I definitely don't want this to become waterlogged. I need it to drain well, but again, I'm just trying to reduce the overall shock to what these carrots are experiencing, these carrot tops are experiencing right now. That paper towel will break down over time. I've got worms in there too. <laughs> They'll chew that up. All right, there we go. I've got this now right amongst our kale, which is looking great. You can see some of our ginger here in the raised bed. There's another bit of ginger. Looks like it's just about to come up. And some potatoes growing in here that I haven't even shown you yet. So these carrots, I'm gonna gently water in. And I do mean gentle because I do not wanna splash water everywhere. That's just gonna disrupt what I've laid down there. So using one of these little watering devices with the screen or without the screen to let it drip on there, it's gonna disturb this as minimally as possible. Now I'm gonna do one more setup. I've still got the rooting powder on here, but I'm just gonna do one setup without the paper towel. And we'll see how well the carrots can handle growing without that additional support. See if that shock is too much for these. Boy, look at the deep green there. There's a ton of little roots coming out of this carrot in particular right now. So we'll get this set up just like so. Again, the soil mix is nice and damp. By the way, I'm using just a lid that would come with these as the base so that the water can come out and not pool in here when I do give it a water. So now I have multiple setups of the carrots, slightly different lighting, but good strong lighting for each of them. So we should be able to see what these results look like here. And even within a few days, we'll be able to see if they're doing a good job and rooting in their new setup. In the meantime, I'm gonna leave some of these in the setup we currently have, some of the smaller ones that haven't developed as much, just in case there's a problem with what we've done in transplanting the carrot tops. Well, folks, there are lots of other vegetable scraps that you can regrow. And if you have a purpose in mind, you just wanna experiment around, maybe you wanna show your kids the power of a vegetable. Maybe you want some fresh greens over the winter. For any number of reasons, you should consider giving this experiment a try with us. Again, we'll keep you updated over the next couple of days and weeks, and then hopefully when the time comes and we're able to transplant these outside and we get some nice carrot seeds from these, we're gonna keep you right there along with us for the journey. I know I am super excited to see where this experiment unfolds. And again, if you've done this before or you want to join in with us, we'd love to hear about it in the comments. Congratulations once again to today's winner. We really hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, remember to share and subscribe. And most importantly, remember, when you're with us, you are good to grow.